Now that we're familiar with z-scores and properties of the normal curve, we can then find out what raw scores are associated with different percentiles. So sticking with the example with the IQ distribution, which has a mean of 100 and a standard deviation of 10, we can find out what IQ score is associated with a different percentile. And the first thing we do is we convert that raw score to a z-score, as we did in the previous videos. After we've done that, we use what's called a z-table to look up what percentile or what area of this curve, either at or below that score, is associated with that score. The z-table looks like this. It gives you a z-score and then the percent from the mean to z, and then the percent in the tail, which is simply 50 minus this column right here. So for example, let's say that we wanted to find out how low of an IQ I would need and still be in the 85th percentile. In other words, there would still be 15% left in the tail. I would scroll down this until I reach less than 15% in the tail and I find the z-score associated with it. In this case, I would need a z-score of 1.04 to assure that I'm in the 85th percentile. This makes sense because if I have a z-score of 1.04 out here, and I know that there is 15% left in this tail, I can be confident that the rest of this distribution, in other words, all the rest of this shaded area right here, is 85% of the distribution. In other words, this z-score is in the 85th percentile. And then to find the score, the raw score associated with that percentile, we simply convert this back to a raw score. You also may be interested to find what raw scores contain a certain interval of the distribution. So for example, let's say we're interested in what raw scores are the bounds or the ends of the middle 38% of the distribution. So we draw our normal curve again, it's centered at zero, and if we want the middle percentage of this distribution, let's say the middle 38% in this example, that would mean, since it's a perfectly symmetrical distribution, we would want 19% of the distribution over here, and 19% of the distribution over here. The middle 38%, simply 38 divided by 2, and you assign each half to each side of the mean. So looking up at our z-table, I have one right here, I know that a z-score of 0.5 is associated with 19% of the distribution between 0 and a z-score of 0 0.05, 0 0.5, sorry. Likewise, I know that I can just flip this over and get the other 19% on this half of the center of the distribution. That would be a z-score of negative 0 0.5. And then I simply convert these back to raw scores, and then I find out what raw scores are associated with the lower and upper bounds of the middle 38% of the distribution. In this case, it's a pretty easy conversion. It's IQs of 95 and 105. So one final example. Let's say that I'm interested in negative z-scores. And I want to know what is the lowest IQ I can have and still be within the bottom 5% of this distribution. Now it's a little tricky because in our z-table we only have positive values. But what you should look at is the percentage remaining in the tail. So in other words, if I look up a z-score of 1.65, I see that there's 5% remaining in the tail. If I flip that around, so again, I have a positive z-score of 1.65, and I know that 5% is left in this tail here. If I flipped it around and I had a score of negative, 1.65, that would mean that 
5% of the distribution lies between the lower tail and this z-score. 